budget would allow you. It could be five hundred dollars. It could be a thousand. I mean, ten thousand. Um, so I'm just saying this is why form ten ninety nine to ten ninety nine B is emerging as gold standard for crypto tax reporting. So I probably pull that up and may do a live stream on that later. Um, but now Bitcoin is one Bitcoin and one entire Bitcoin, right? Is fifty seven thousand at the time of this recording five hundred and fifty three dollars. So you have Ethereum that had seven point five percent gains today after that big announcement. Announcement. You still have XRP with two percent um, gains on the day, and XLM at three percent. Remember um, that it will USDC, right? United States digital currency will be used as the, the payment, but on the Ethereum network. So XLM, right, is also backing of the USDC. Um, so XLM, for example, is at 40 cents. And they had gains today behind the announcement. So again, looking for uh, big things in, and this is the USDC stable coin, right? Or the USD. Big things from Ethereum as a result. Right, as a result of that. Yes, come on in. Glad you caught a live stream. Right, glad you caught a live stream. Um, it would not surprise me if Bitcoin reached at least 70K by April. 70K or above by April. So that's like a, a, a 15,000, 15 to $20,000 month of progress. So, um, yeah, that's why they're saying even if you are new to cryptocurrency, just putting a little bit. Uh, a minimal at least 500 is not a bad idea because it has big gains um, still predicted for this year. So at the 26 or 27 minute mark, let's discuss Queen. What is SDR? Why does it matter? And how does or will it affect XRP if it will affect XRP at all, right? It's always a little challenging for me to teach things from um, uh, from the foundation of surface because people don't have a lot of prior background. Um, another super chat, King Tyson. Thank you so much, King, for the $5 super chat. Um, he says, I bought XRP on Coinbase in December because of you. Oh, thank you so much. I love to hear those testimonials, you all. I'm still holding and not selling. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I'm making a difference in your financial and your spiritual and your mental life, because the better you are positioned financially, the better you feel, whether people want to admit it or not, mentally and spiritually. Uh, people say money does not make you happy, but neither does poverty. Right. They say money cannot buy happiness, but po but poverty cannot buy anything. <laughs> money might not can buy you happiness, but for, for some, it surely can give you temporary joy, right? It, or it can give you long-term joy. It does not have to be temporary, right? Um, it sure helps to have a better quality of life. Poverty buys nothing. So what happened to the SDR, special drawings rights, right? Since 1972, the global, and we're talking about a global economic reset, right? The global monetary system um, design framework abandoned the notion or abandoned the connection of the gold standard, right? So it abandoned a good gold standard and gold as collateral became too expensive for the Federal Reserve Bank to support its currency in the face of relentless money printing, right? That was required to finance the war in Vietnam. Um, the notion of fiat currency, which is derived from the Latin meaning, means let it be done. Fiat means let it be done. That's what your cash is called. And so because they called it cash or they called it currency, uh, then they said, let it be done. We will stop using real money, right? And we're going to use paper money produced by the Federal Reserve. This people happened overnight. Overnight, the USD took on the role as the global currency status, right? That means your cash dollar. 
Don't think this will not happen with cryptocurrency overnight. Even though you all are seeing the development of stages that it won't be an overnight process, but for some people that are not woke, right? They're going to look at it as if it's overnight. They're going to think, oh, all of a sudden our currency system changed. No, we have things that's leading up to right now that's showing you that we are moving to a new economy, that we are moving to cryptocurrency. Yet some people don't think or they don't believe or they don't want to accept that it will happen. Right. Thank you, Queen. Thank you all so much for the five hour super chat. Thank you all so much. Right. And so uh, another comment, Ripple XRP will soon replace the so-called SWIFT system and yes, SDR, special drawing, right? So let me lay the foundation so people can know what special drawings, right, is. So in 1969, right, efforts, um, this is from Forbes people, were undertaken to mimic, you see that word mimic? That's why cash they say, why hold cash? It is not real money. It's fictitious. It on, it's only good to pay your bills and give you real tangible things like uh, somewhere to live, like food, clothing, your essential needs, right? But the value I, I discussed earlier, intrinsic value of it itself is very low. As a matter of fact, it has lost 98% of its purchasing power, right? Which means every day you're seeing increased pricing as a result of every time we get a stimulus, you're seeing things costing more and more from your gas to your groceries because they are devaluating the dollar, right? It's not that things are getting higher, it's that your dollar is able to now purchase less. And I know you said, Queen, where things are getting higher, right? Gas prices are three almost three dollars. Well, that's your your dollar value is not rising to purchase, be able to um, meet the standard like gold would, right? As more dollars are distributed, the higher prices that assets like gold and silver uh, goes up in value, right? So the same amount of gas, for example, that can purchase five gallons of of, of uh, I mean, the same amount of gold that used to purchase five dollars of gas in this year in 2021 is the same amount of gold, right, that could purchase the same five, uh, five gallons of gas in 1969. Gold always rises or increases as so does prices, but cash does, does not do that. So they want to mimic the gold standard. So the IMF, International Monetary Fund, introduced Special drawings rights called SDR as international reserve assets. So this combines with this is just another currency, people. And it combines the US dollar, the euro, the Great Britain, pounds, Japanese um, yen, and all of these currencies is a combination. And they decided to do this just in case, right? Just in case that the cash, the world reserve currency, right? Um, loses its power because up to 1971, our dollar, the world reserve currency was backed by money, which was real gold, which means the dollar was good as gold. Other countries that traded their everything that they produced and they accepted the United States cash as accepting a payment, whether it was for Saudi Arabia or or for China's vehicles, right? Um, Russia um, vehicles, the Volkswagen or China's Toyotas or Lexus, where they accept the cash and when they wanted to take that cash and convert it and get the real money and gold, right? They could do that. But then United States then saw that, hey, we're losing our gold. We became low on our gold supply because countries was converting the dollars to gold. And they was doing it because they was noticing, they were sitting back and watching that the United States was distributing more dollars into the economy. And they said, wait a minute, if they're giving out more dollars, right, uh, then I want the gold because the dollar is becoming weaker, right? Again, 
supply and demand. And so these countries sit back, they observe it, right? Then you have SDRs. SDR is currency, but it's just a combination for all of these countries, for the countries that I forementioned, right? It is a type of currency just in case that United States defaulted on its uh, deal to convert the dollar to cash. And the United States did just that, right? President Nixon, uh, right, they were certificates. There are notes now, exactly. So President Nixon came on at, I think, a commercial in 1971 while the popular show Bonanza was showing. That's my my mother's middle name, to be honest with you, so I never forget that, even though it was before I was born, and made the announcement that, hey, right, we are removing the dollar from the gold standard, meaning we you can no longer bring us paper dollar certificates and get the real money, which is gold. And as a matter of fact, the only reason why the United States was even able to have a larger gold reserve than other countries is because in 1933, right, it required or it made or forced citizens who own gold to turn in gold. Um, and if they did not turn in their gold and they was caught with gold uh, or in possession of gold, right, they had either 10 years in jail or $10,000 fine, right? So let me read these comments. SDR, right? Special drawing rights. And they were certificate. Okay, so I'm just making sure that exactly in a sense they go my man, my man, my guy on SRP Digital Gold. So now special drawing rights is saying again, hey, the dollar depreciated. So what did the United States do in 1971? Well, they then they replaced it with petrodollar. So this prevented or it kept or it it allowed some time, it bought some time that allowed the United States, right, to remain the world reserve currency. So now IMF, International Monetary Fund, has another trick up its sleeve when fiat fails. Again, fiat is cash, right? It's own coin SDR. So I know you might be saying, well, Queen, you said that SDR uh, will be Ripple or XRP, not Ripple, but the XRP. But what if they create their own SDR? Then do they need XRP? Right? Well, let's look at the article. I love that picture there. Um, it, virtually everyone knows what the dollar is, but not many know about SDR, right? This is not public or wide taught in the media, and you definitely want to learn this in school. The International Monetary Fund, IML, Special Drawing Rights, is an international reserve system created specifically to address the limitations of gold and standard fiat currencies such as the U.S. dollar, right? In short, when these fail, central banks and their government retain the ability to trade and plan with liquidity um, exclusive this instrument. Artificial currency. This is I told I showed you all earlier how the dollar was fake currency or it's artificial. So the SDR right is not actual currency, but they're able to potentially claim uh, on the freeable, usable currencies of IMF members, right? So it is a certificate of composed of many currencies, right? So the official unit uh, of the group or instrument of available member currency to central banks. So SDR are exclusive assets. So no, you cannot invest directly to SDR, right? As this article goes on to say, the average individual cannot get their hands on SDR, compro um, comprising of a basket of major global currencies, major global currency, uh, special drawing rights in the five-year intervals, and again, these are all the USD, the Japanese, um, Japanese currency, the China currency, digital yuan, um, the GBP, all of these five currency of the major countries. 
Now, this is what I want to bring to you all, and I'm going to um, expand this picture as much as I can. Zoom in. If you can see, right, this is as much as I can zoom in, you have how this process works. You have gold here, gold. You have the currency. It will no longer be the U.S. dollar, right? We're going to lose that world reserve power where other countries can um, exchange or China, Russia, they no longer want to use the dollar, right? It's depreciating, um, low yielding asset, right? Um, every country is going to have its own digital currency. Again, you have digital yuan, for example. Um, this um, China is ahead of us. They're already rolling it out, already using it, right? China is already a cashless country. Then you have the SDR. So notice that this is the gold backing. This is how the process is going to work. This currency is showing you a paper picture, people, but this is going to be digital here. This is going to be digital and that has that connection or that peg to go. And what you see here in cash is going to represent the XRP system that's going to empower the SDR. Uh, right now they have a, um, a system called SWIFT, but it's slow, it's costly. XRP is quicker and faster. And that's why it's under legal litigations right now because they have to have all the legal terms, everything in place in order for this to power the global currency. So now you have all these countries, the member countries, and this is how uh, prescribed holders, this is your central banks, this is your IMF International Monetary Fund. So this is where you get the concept that XRP will be uh, backed by gold in that sense, because that's how that, gra that graph is showing you. Now, again, Bitcoin still will be digital, digital gold, right? It still will be digital gold because I don't know if you all know this, but China digital uh, yuan is going to be the digital global stable coin. It's not going to be necessarily the digital currency, right? Because like the United States, again, we already have the USDC coin. But it, they're going to release this at the Winter Olympics in 2022. And they're going to allow people to come and they're going to have a digital a way to distribute this digital currency and take it back to their other countries to dispense it countrywide in our countries. So China, because China has already accumulated more physical gold, right, to make this move than you United States. They have been making alliances with Asia and Africa over the years, building their powerhouse and their structure, while the United States have been just distributing more of cash dollars, right? Um, the gold is pretty much gone. Let me show you all this. Um, as I read my comments. Um, DeFi Bar and Lending coming to BSC soon. Okay. And uh, let me read some comments. Yes, ESDR will have a baby soon. Right. And that means uh, electronic people, SDR, right? That's what it means by E. Uh, SRP, Digital Gold, QFS, SRP. P still available on Uphold, and I think on Atomic Wallet as well, the Atomic Wallet app, right? Um, they left that gold snatch out of the history books. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They really did. And so this is what the certificates as of now, again, is going to be digital look like. This is the uh, SDR, you see the dollar sign, SDR for, I had something on my screen, give me one second. All right, for a supplement, let's see that. A supplement existing reserve asset. And so, y'all forgive me, I'm touching my screen, I got 
something on there. So millions of critics around the world today, um, terrified words of the 21st century. The IMF is here to help. So again, International Monetary Fund actively preparing for future global monetary order where the U.S. dollar plays people, listen, look at this, a lesser role than it does today under the SDR system, special drawings, right? See, this is what, uh, to meet the need as and when it arrives, and you see the IMF right in the symbol that it's like a $10 billion. This is showing you what it looks like. So it goes into what is um, IMF, SDR, and again, it's based on five um, major fiat currency, which is the US dollar, the Euro, the Chinese, the uh, or Wuhan, Japanese yen, and the British pound, right? So those five. So again, it has to add, it may be necessary to add some form of gold commodity to add credibility to the SDR as the next world reserve currency. But again, people, this will be through a e-digital system or a crypto system. Uh, why would they or why would they want to create a new system when XRP is already uh, doing the work or already had the platform in place? Again, everything now is just being legalized and token so that when they're ready to roll this out, again, um, it's possibly as early as next year during the Winter Olympics, right? Um, then it will be ready to go. LaKendris, thank you all so much for coming in with the um, XRP Super Chat. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking at XRP with the 999 Super Chat. And the comment is XRP and Spark sitting uh, in a tree. Kissing good content queen. I like to see my black sister succeed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you are so exactly right, right? IMO, Bitcoins, Fools Gold cannot end well. Let's, let's look at the Bitcoin. I'm, I'm trying to keep this under an hour, so I have 13 more minutes. Can you all stay with me for 13 more minutes? Keep the comments coming in. Keep the feedback. You know, keep the queen. Um, keep, keep my spirits up so I can keep talking. I'm sipping on my tea, but it gets uh, my voice gets a little weak. My voice does get a little weak, so I uh, keep the super chats coming in. That, that helps me as well. So you all keep the comments. Uh, keep me going. Let's look at it. Let's look at this article, right? Because you all, it takes a lot of research. I have to have these articles in place because um, I don't want to waste your time. And I try to get a lot of information in and teach it in a simple way in under an hour, right? So you all are discussing Bitcoin. How long can the dirty old... Um, yeah, well, I know you say it takes a lot of uh, dirty energy to mine Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is not going anywhere. Uh, I know you probably came in late, but that's why it's not that many Bitcoin available. And I know that Bitcoin, will, the mining will continue, but the only thing that they will do is just switch to more efficient ways to mine it by going from all mining to solar energy um, mining. Um, and a lot of the oil rigs, will be converted into mining rigs uh, through solar panels and solar energy. So Bitcoin won't win worldwide adoption because China controls it. Now, China is going to control Bitcoin. And according to Gene Simmons, I can bring that article up with you all as well. You all know Gene Simmons as the rock star, but you all don't know that Gene Simmons is, has a great financial education. Um, he knows about gold back currency. He's invested in... Um, Cardano, he's invested in Zcash, Litecoin, Bitcoin, and Ethereum, and Dogecoin, right? So it won't have worldwide adoption because China controls it. Ripple CEO says this. So China is a major player in the um, setting the Bitcoin prices already known, but Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse suggested it that Bitcoin's route to become the world primary cryptocurrency might falter due to China's influence. Influence. Now you know that 65% of the mining, right, of Bitcoin is done in China. So it is controlled by China. Um, as he said, Bitcoin is really controlled by China. 
There are four miners that control over 50% of the Bitcoin. How do we know that China will intervene in controlling Bitcoin? How many countries want to use a Chinese controlled currency? Right? Um, so when, when you get the information that Bitcoin is free of government, it's going to be free of the United States government. It's going to be decentralized. It is going to be free of the United States government. But China behind the scenes are going to be the puppets, right, that are going to hold the strings. And China is not going to allow Bitcoin, right, or XRP to be out of their control. Now, what that means is uh, pretty soon, you're again, 45% of Bitcoin is not um, no longer available. So what that means is pretty soon is that, that people have the ability to purchase or invest in Bitcoin now on exchanges. They won't have that anymore. But just like the people that invest in an XRP, right, and you still have your address and your ownership, but now it's not on any exchanges that would give you a key to own it or store it, right? And people, when I say key, that just means that you have letters and numbers that allow you to um, shift or store your, XR, uh, your XRP or Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency into a uh, either physical or cold wallet or a hard wallet. Um, so that's just basic, you know, uh, information for my new people. Um, like Uphold, for example, you can you can invest in XRP through Uphold, but you can't have the ownership. You can rent it, but you can't ever own it. It's like a house. It's like having a it's it's, it's like renting a house, an apartment, or a condo to live, or actually having the key to be a home buyer to have ownership of it. So that's the best, the simplest way that I can explain it. So now you have this article about um, Gene Simmons, rock legend, right? Musician that talks about Bitcoin. Um, he believes China is behind the Ripple lawsuit. And again, he says dollars are based on nothing. We, we And this article came out February of this year, right? You got to like Gene Simmons, right? You got to love him. Mm hmm so the American musician, co-leader singer um, for the rock band Kiss, Gene Simmons, has been very talking about cryptocurrency the last two weeks. Simmons sat down with Bitcoin.com podcast host, a variety of subjects. And so this is what I want to get to. Uh, let me find it. Last week, the, the bass player told fans he's purchased Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Doge, XRP, and other digital assets. Um, now, this was in February, right? He has since purchased Cardano as well, right? He has since purchased Cardano as well. You all, this is breaking news. Let me share this with you. I see it to the side and I get back on this. Um, South African companies convert cash holdings into Bitcoin. A hedge against devaluation. <laughs> Look at there. Bitcoin is not going anywhere. It's going to be outside. And that's why it's decentralized because it won't be in the control of the U.S. Um, government. The first South African company to make a bold step after reporting to acquire $134,000 worth of Bitcoin. Um, good things for Africa. They're working on bringing people out of poverty through cryptocurrency. So that's just um, LSD, Ledger, Open. Time is right. Bitcoin's holding had almost 70%. More people are buying Bitcoin people, and it's not, it's not, it's, it's going to be like XRP. And that you can't find it to purchase on any platform. Right? So they're trying to attract as many crypto enthusiasts uh, for whom are decentralized, open nature. And China is the global powerhouse right now. You know, um, United States is falling, right? Uh, China is the rising phoenix. If you watch the Phoenix magazine or seen the Phoenix magazine, so um, yes, they are in Doge. He's in crypto, but I like this part of the article. He said, "When I was a kid, I started reading stuff 
the kind of stuff that other kids did not read. Uh, reading is more fundamental, give you more information. I learned about capitalism and how it works, how the government prints money. That is once based on gold and there lies the value. And then at some point in the past, most before most of you were born, the dollar was no longer based on gold, right? This is from Gene Simmons. I'm back on Gene Simmons right now in this article. So the dollar is based on nothing. That's the first thing you need to understand, right? So that's why you convert your dollars into assets, right? Um, and so he said, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. He said, I did buy some XRP. Uh, I believe China is under the Ripple lawsuit. The more governments that includes the United States continue printing money, which is based on nothing. At some point, people, you have to pay the piper. So this is why also, right, owning, having possession of, I'm talking about key and ownership of things, having physical silver and gold in your possession when its currency system resets, because the XRP will be gold back, is going to put you again rich in a recession. I did a lot of research about Satoshi and where he came from and what it was, the kids uh, front man said. It seems to me the value of things is determined by people, right? The value of real estate is based on what the people say it is. The value of gold only what a people only on what people agree on what it is. And even Wall Street and stocks based off people's valuation. You can make your own valuation, but unless people buy your stocks, it means nothing. And there's something about uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Unless people are buying it, it means nothing. And as you can see, they are buying it. The supply is limited, right? The supply is limited. So um, that's how Bitcoin is going to be decentralized. Uh, even XRP is going to be under China's control even more. That's why the United States had to take it off its exchanges, right? Because they don't want you to have ownership. It's the same concept, people, of 1933 when they took the gold, the physical gold from the citizens. Now they're taking your digital gold by not having on exchanges that would give you a key. But again, right? Congrats to the people that got in before it was taken off those exchanges in which you can have ownership. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, you are everyone that's coming in with the super chats, right? Mariah, thank you so much, Queen and Sam. Check. Okay. Is it?